I know as of today, and I say as of today at this hour, uh, we have 33 confirmed positive tests for the virus. Yesterday we had 22 cases. Today we have 33 cases, so it has gone up by 11. Uh, uh, that brings, those are 11 new cases. Uh, 22 goes to 33. As we sort through this here uh, in Arkansas, uh, today uh, I, we have 33 confirmed positive cases in Arkansas. Uh, as of today, we have 33 confirmed cases uh, with Boston residents. We expect those numbers to climb. As of th this afternoon, we have 33 Pennsylvanians who have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, so as of this morning, there were 33 confirmed uh, cases in North Carolina. Good evening to you. Lots to get to tonight. I'm Leon Hendricks. We want to start with new information into our newsroom. Within the past couple of hours, there are now 33 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Michigan. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Richard Gearhart. Karina Corral has the night off. More cases of the coronavirus were confirmed today in San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number now to 33. Right now, Georgia is reporting a total of 99 cases in 19 counties. That is 33 new cases from just yesterday. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Swenson. More cases and more events affected. Here is the latest coronavirus news. There are now 33 cases in Louisiana. As expected. As expected. The, the number of cases of COVID-19 jumps. A total of 33 people in our state have been tested and are confirmed to have the coronavirus. Day four of the shelter at home order brought six new confirmed cases of the coronavirus to San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number to 33. All troopers will be professional, polite, and will treat everyone with dignity and respect. These latest steps as the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Rhode Island jumps by 33 overnight.